If you could design your own e-bike, how would you do it? Or perhaps a bold new design that aerospace grade alloys and engineered for maximum durability. We feel you. Simply use your fingerprint to lock the bike. I know what you're saying. Hey, you're one of the lucky ones. At least you got your bike. Well, wait till you see the rest of the video. First, this was the cost of the bike. 2,677 bucks USD. It ain't cheap. After two and a half years, they sent us another bill for 1174 bucks and 20 cents in USD again. This is supposed to include the shipping fee, duties, and taxes, and supposed to deliver to door. Well, this didn't happen. After charging me nearly 1200 bucks, they're supposed to ship this bike to Canada, but instead they shipped the whole container to the States. Well, I spoke to people at the fulfillment warehouse in the States and they said this has never happened before. So Revo probably knew they were going bankrupt. Now that my bike is in the States, the only way I can bring it into Canada is to pay the duties and taxes again, which I already paid to Revo. Now it's 550 bucks, that's a lot of money, right? So obviously I picked up the phone, I tried to email Revo, no responses. I even went up the chain. I tried to get hold of Flowship, which was the freight forwarder for all these bikes on behalf of Revo. No luck in that department. So either I have to bite the bullet, pay the 550 extra, or I were never gonna see my bike. <sighs> so I had no choice except to pay the 550. And this happened. The steering column snapped in half oh my take a look from the physical damage of the box as you can tell something heavy has been stacked on top of my bike that force was so tremendous it snapped the steering wheel man at that moment i i just didn't know what to say i was like i was out of words i spent six grand on this bike you know, including shipping and exchange and everything, and the extra 550 bucks. Look, all the wires were ripped out. The whole thing just broke in half. There's, there's just nothing I can do, and the parts are proprietary. I don't even know, you know, where I can get parts to fix it or whether I can still fix it. Man, I'm just so pissed off. Snap in half. Basically, the bike is done. There you go. Thank you, FedEx. Thank you for the wonderful <laughs> handling of the freight. And guys, you know what the kicker here is? In order for a claim to be submitted, Revo must be the party that submits a claim because they're the one that supposedly pay for the freight charges. And the irony is, I was the one that paid for everything. What that means is, at this very moment, I can't even submit a claim because I can't get hold of Revo. I even try to contact the fulfillment warehouse in California and get them to submit a claim on my behalf because they're the one that initiated the shipment with FedEx. They just tell me to contact Revo. I'm at a dead end. I got nowhere to go with this bike. Anyways, this this is my um, has been my personal experience. Uh, hopefully you guys have better luck than me. Take care.